Okay, this is to show you a picture of my cell phone, 115 p.m. on September 29, 2013. And this is Leslie Williams. And, uh, I'm laying down because I got a migraine. Hold on a second. Now, I'm aware that I don't look my best right now. Hang on a second. Hang on. Got a migraine. And, uh, the reason why I'm making this particular video right now is to illustrate some points concerning why I haven't been uploading a lot of videos lately. Now, I gotta say this, uh, I gotta say this, uh, carefully because cyber surveillance is a method of what is, I'm a victim, target, and activist concerning the crimes of what is known as organized stalking which can also be termed as gang stalking one more second and uh... I'm hiking in California, San Diego County and uh... now I got undisputable proof one more second I got undisputable proof that I've been gang stalked inside of social services, inside of the San Diego City Council meeting uh, chambers, in a in a C San Diego City Council meeting inside their chambers, uh, inside of the San Diego Police Department headquarters, and along all my routes. Undisputable proof, and the harassment that I experienced at these places is the same exact identical harassment experience everywhere I go, including at this hiking area. Now, if you went to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman, oh no, I'm sorry, if you went to YouTube and type in Gang Sucking Bullying on Steroids, you'll be able to see that guy's harassed everywhere he goes, even at his own home. Hold on one second. Okay. Because in organized stalking, gang stalking, my eyes are all swollen up from having a migraine. It's a, it's a migraine that starts out in your neck and usually on my right side and then it goes up towards right here and then up in my nostril. And so I try to keep the swelling down. Anyways, um. If you went to YouTube and typed in uh, what I just said, gang stalking, bullying on steroids, you'll be able to see that that individual is gang stalked and harassed everywhere he goes, including at his own home. Now, I have over 700 audio files of individuals getting around me everywhere I go, including at my hiking area, saying gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk. Oh my God, we are crazy, gang stalk, gang stalker. Gang stalking. Gang stalk. Crazy. Weird. Oh my god. Gang stalk. Repeatedly, continuously, in that way. And some of those videos are already online. You can go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman ex uh, Gang Stalk Exposes Evidence Being Gang Stalked at uh, City Council Meeting. Same thing with uh, San Diego Police Department Headquarters. I might have made the title of those videos SDPD Headquarters or Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Evidence and you'll hear gang stalk, gang stalking, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalk, oh my god we're crazy being said in the background around me and that's their way to let me uh, to, that's their way to s stimulate anchored memories in your mind that you're being gang stalked by repeatedly and and what's happened to you in your personal life um, by getting around you and repeating certain physical gestures words phrases sounds now you can go to YouTube and type in learning disabled woman catches gang stalker admitting sent to harass read comments look at everything in the description of that YouTube video and cross-reference all published dates concerning what I was exposing Concerning what I was already exposing online, and then what I caught the three teenagers admit to, admitting to. 
Then you can go to YouTube and type in 2 forward slash 20 forward slash 13. Learning disabled woman catches another gang stalker admitting sense of harass. And that individual was caught 13 months later after I caught the three teenagers admitting what they admitted to. Um, and that person admitted to a San Diego police officer put him on the corner to do it. You gotta listen to that entire video though, all the way to the very, 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 very end. <coughs> Cause you hear me stating to him, and don't put your hands to your face no more. Hold on a second. Now you can go to YouTube and type in, if you've never heard of game stalking before, you're going to have to do extensive research to be able to discover exactly how to operate. And I'm here today to tell you there's a lot of disinformation on the internet about it. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, information on the internet that tries to say that most of the people that are engaged in gang stalking towards a target are informants. I'm going to tell you something right now. 85% of the people that have riots, organized stalking, gang stalking targets are nothing but dupes, dupe citizens. Now, if you went to Google and typed in a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know, which, a man, which is a manifesto of a manager of gang stalking, he flat out states that the pawns are the ones that mostly uh, pawns and punks and different people in the community that they dupe to harass a target for them that they're called pawns okay and the other 15% are people that uh, want to be part of the syndicate the rest of them are, are actual syndicate members and so on and so forth now I can't get no help because I'm a victim of this crime because it's organized crime in the system that's doing this I got undisputable proof now, I'm eating an animal cracker. Now, on um, July 24, 2013, I made a video at this location stating I was going to be going to the San Diego Police Department headquarters to get a police report. And I stated, um, and I also had a running tape report at the same time. And, uh, I stated in the video prediction that I made at this location, which I showed a picture of my cell phone which showed the date and the time. I stated I stated where I was gonna be going for the day and I said let's see if I hear gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk, weird, crazy, oh my god, gang stalker, gang stalking along any of my routes today. Including at the police department headquarters. Never been there before in my entire life. Got down there, it was set along my routes on my way to there, and continuously once I got there. And the same thing occurred on the day that I went down to the San Diego City Council meeting on August 23rd, 2013. My birds are here. And, um, I make my video predictions in order to be able to show that I'm being stalked from this place in order to be able to put the uh, by the perpetrators in order for them to be able to put the crafted harassment around me for me to experience now I'm aware that this video is not the best I mean I know because I took a I took a um I took a uh I took a video, I, I made it like a four second, five second video before I uh, made this one to see how I look laying down. And I'm aware I don't look my best, but if anybody out there that's watching this suffers from migraines, you'll know that when you get a migraine, you don't, want, you don't even feel like moving. And I gotta get up and actually go to the grocery store. <clears throat> I'm predicting right now that they're gonna attempt to keep me off social services. Right now, I'm, I'm preparing to be, uh, I got some redetermination information from them in the mail. I literally, I literally, literally, literally caught the same exact method being utilized around me inside of social services way back in July of 2012. That's right. Now, where I'm hiking at right now is a different location concerning where I was hiking at, concerning where I was hiking at in July and June of 2012. 
I'm hiking about 30 to 40 miles away from that location where I was hiking at back then. Now, they set up some idiots, some bums, some freaks, to either hike out or act like they're hiking out about 200 feet away from me. I'm going to show you something real fast. See that bag right there? I just got my sleeping bag, my change of clothes, and a couple extra blankets. And the reason why I'm showing you it is because, well, I'm going to say something i got to say carefully because perpetrators, I mentioned cyber surveillance in the very beginning of this digital uh, video file. She, two things, and they're, and they're intertwined, just turn me out. You can go to Google and type in, again, like I said, a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know. Now, if memory serves me correctly, it states it in there that they have the technology that can produce an artificial headache. Just trust me, okay? Now, it seems on mornings and days where I, um, like if I make a video and then put it on the internet stating that I'm looking for a new hiking area and so you're not going to see many videos of me in the next upcoming two weeks or so. Because my time is going to be spent packing up my stuff and then looking for separate different hiking areas. Okay. So I can take identical kits to each one. Okay. And if I am, since I'm being stalked to this location, which I am, and harassed in the same way that I'm harassed along all my routes, do you honestly think that they're not aware that I'm here? Well, of course they are. They got to know I'm here in order to put the dummies on the sidewalk to ride their bikes by and say it. Or had the freaks that they set up 200 feet away who are saying it. Okay? So they gotta know I'm here in order to do that. Which means that physically they have to know I'm here. Okay? Which means that they know then that I, I have not went out like yesterday or today. Okay? Now, I've already made videos and put them on the internet concerning uh, fact that I'm going to be looking for three, four separate hiking areas in order to drop off identical kits to each one so I can hike out at each one and that way if I get evicted from any of the each one I won't have to carry all my belongings with me that I own to find a new hiking area. Okay, there's organized stalking and gang stalking perpetrators try and put targeted individuals in immediate situations that are designed to wear them out physically, psychologically, physiologically emotionally and financially that's right now because they pulled a uh, they pulled a fast one on the 8th and 9th of this month September 2013 and um, so what I'm trying to say is does the manifesto state that they got the ability to bring on a headache now let me ask you a question is somebody who has hurt you okay and as they were hurting you, if they made sure that you remembered certain thing about about what caused, you know, like, it, say if you were assaulted, okay, and then, and then the person who assaulted you, he did something out of the ordinary to get your attention by doing what he was doing right before he assaulted you, okay, you would, you would remember that because you'd think about maybe why he was doing it. Then the next day and for the next 60 days, people got along your route and they did the same thing. Not the assault, but what he did. Like, I was assaulted on an MTS bus on October 10th, 2011. And the perpetrator who assaulted me, hang on one second. The perpetrator who assaulted me, he went like this with his hand right before the assault, about five minutes before the assault. Now you can go to YouTube and type in "learning disabled woman brutally assaulted on an MTS bus." You'll see that uh, you'll see that assault. And also, MTS sent me an alter video of that assault. You can go to YouTube and Google and type in "learning disabled woman." Either uh, you can type in "exposes" and or explains how MTS a video was assault, assault video was altered. Then, after the assault occurred, they got people along my routes. Quite a few days to get along my routes and they would say gang stalker and then they go like this and that was done to make me remember the assault that's right 
So, what you got here is you got individuals here who are doing things that I experienced along all my routes. Now, some of the people that they used to harass me along my routes look threatening, okay? And this is where I believe, in part, that, hang on. Now, I have a feeling that they're using people that have gotten in trouble with the law, okay? Like people that are put on probation or parole, and they're bargained with. They're told that if you do this and that, if you do this for us on a specific day, we'll be lighter on your fines or your sentence. That's right. Now we all know that some people that get in trouble with the law are gangish looking, punkish looking, and that they possibly even act the same. This is done to make the target like if you got a woman who's being stalked by people they do, she doesn't know. Then you got a gangish, punkish type guy deliberately and intentionally put along her path by the perpetrators who are managing this stuff. And when that person is put along that woman's route, the way he looks, the way he's told to act is to make her hypervigilant, hyper alert, and afraid. And that's exactly why they do in part what they're doing. Is to put them in the victim target in a victim mindset. <sighs> and to keep them in one. Okay. I gotta leave to go to Ralph's today to go get some grocery shopping done. And when I come back here, if any of my property is gone, they believe that would provoke me to go over there and confront the idiots they set up 200 feet away while I got a migraine. Now, true migraine sufferers know that they do, that, that when they get a migraine, that they're uh, that they don't feel like even getting up out of bed, let alone getting up and going anywhere. Okay. Now, again, the reason why they're constantly repeating certain words and phrases along all my routes, including at this hiking area is to keep me mentally preoccupied with the fact that I'm a victim of this crime. Um, recently, I'm, uh, hang on a second. Recently, the, uh, city government of San Diego pulled the community together to oust, get rid of, uh, our mayor, Mayor Filner. And, um, uh, and um, some woman, and it was all over the news, it was even being joked about on the Jay Leno show, okay? Now, um, and basically what it was, was a bunch of big snakes going after a little snake, okay? And, um, uh, as it was being covered on the news and, and newspapers and stuff like that, I noticed that uh, twice, two separate occasions, I noticed that women got online and I could tell one of them was a woman because she had her photo. I think it was on UT San Diego, which is a newspaper. And she stated that, she stated that when she made a comment on one of the newspaper articles about sexual harassment allegations against Mayor Filmer, which she finally resigned. Which is the reason why I was in the city council meeting on August 23rd, 2013. That was the exact closed meeting that he resigned at. And you would have seen me in the chambers if I hadn't went down and had a cigarette. And then when I went to go come back in, they wouldn't let me back in. And when the city council re- uh, See, they, they, um... See, what they did was they set up the city council meeting. I'll get back to what I was saying in a second. But they set up the city council meeting so that the city council could hear the public statements about what was going on with Mayor Filner. Okay. Then they adjourned to, to I personally believe, to act like it was going back in the back to discuss what they were going to do with them. Okay. And when they adjourned, I left and went downstairs to have a cigarette because I was already in there almost at least an hour. At least an hour. Could have been more than likely an hour and a half. <laughs> so by the time they adjourned, and I even got up and spoke, by the time they adjourned, I was ready to have a cigarette. So I, I left and went downstairs and went outside to have a cigarette, and then when I went to go come back in, the idiots 
at the body scanners told me that I couldn't go, go back in, that it was a closed session. Now, even though it was a closed session, uh, the reason why I called it the dumb skis the idiots is because they were doing things that were inappropriate. Okay. Now, that was the actual city council meeting that you'll see online of gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking. Oh my god, gang stalk, we're crazy. Being set around me inside of the city council meeting. That was what that was for. Now, so, all, all this crap was going on concerning, uh, he's now ex-mayor Filner. Uh, he resigned when the city council readjourned. And then the mayor mayor came out and he announced his resignation. And um, but anyways, it was being covered on the news. It was being covered in the newspapers. And I noticed a woman had gotten on some of the news news articles concerning it. And she said, "This is doing nothing but stimulating uh, other sexual harassment victims to think about their victimization." And she was right. Because whenever a person is a victim of a crime like a rape or an assault or uh, a, a robbery okay whenever they hear about the same type of crime happening either on the radio or in the newspaper or on the television it stimulates the memories of what happened to them that's right well that's exactly what organized stalking and gang stalking expeditions are all about is to make you a victim of a crime it's what when I say the following I want you to understand something what I'm about to say is their actual, literal, designed intent, okay? What they do is they victimize targets, okay? Including making them homeless. Then, what they'll do is when they victimize them in certain ways, like assault, even rapes, they will then get along that target's path and reintroduce things that were done as the traumatization was occurring. And as that's happening, they'll also make sure the target notices, the, notices them doing other things, okay? That would be like, say, a, let me give you just a real fast example because I'm running out of time here. Let me just say, like, okay, like, say if, um, picture your mother. Say picture somebody walking up to your mother and punching her in the face. Just bear with me, okay? Just picture somebody walking up to your mother and punching her in the face. And then as they punched her in the face, they'd say, oh my God, and then go like this and laugh. They put their hands in her face and laugh. Then, for 60 days in a row, everywhere she went, shopping, restaurant, movie theater, post office, bank, uh, 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 anywhere she went, people would be around her constantly repeating, oh my God, and going like this. And then even laughing at times. And what that is, that's done to make her sensitive to that by classically conditioning her to the word, oh my God, and the physical gesture going like this. Okay? That's right. Then, as they con continue to have people do it in the community, they would also pair the oh my God and the physical gesture doing this to another one, like going like this, to make sure she noticed that as well. And since the oh my God and doing this was attached to original traumatization, Every time she was reintroduced with it, her mind would go back to a disassociated state because as the trauma was occurring, her mind became disassociated. See, basically what they did was uh, anchor a memory to a traumatization, okay? And then stimulate the memory, and then whenever the memory got stimulated, the mind would go right back to disassociation. And as they were bringing the mind back to disassociation as a result of the representation of what they uh, sensitized her to, the oh my god in this, they would then add additional things to pair it with, like doing this. Pairing means one or more, like a pair of apples, a pair of oranges, two things. So they'd say, oh my god, this, laugh, and then start going like this. And then they'd continue to do that for 60 to 90 days. That's right. So that way, whenever she would be out and about in the community, whenever she saw somebody just touching her face, she would think about what happened. Do you see how they operate? Hang on. And this is just one section of what organized stalking and gang stalking expeditions deliberately and intentionally do. It's designed to f f create a traumatization in order to disassociate the mind. Okay, because like Vietnam vets, when they were in the Vietnam, Vietnam War and they were in the middle of a battle and they heard helicopters going overhead, Okay, while they were in the middle, while they were in the middle of an intense battle. Okay, 
<clears throat> then they come back to America and they're out of the, they're out of the military. They're walking down the street and they hear and they hear a helicopter. They're brought right back to that memory. They're disassociated from current consciousness by the helicopter stimulating the memory, and that's exactly what organized stalking and gang stalking expeditions do. And this is not the only thing they do, though. But this is what they do on a non-stop basis to remind you you're a victim of the crime every day, everywhere you go, continuously, all day long. And they set up some individuals 200 feet away to do that exact thing by repeating certain words and phrases and then trying to reintroduce new things to pair it to. They're also getting individuals on the, on the sidewalk to do the same thing. That's right. Now the tactic I'm talking to you about has been done towards me everywhere I have went, every single day, non-stop, non-stop everywhere I have went for the last year and a half, two years. That's right. How did they know I came back to San Diego on August 8, 2011? How did they know I came back here? I don't know one person at the acquaintance, friendship level, or intimate level at all. Because I decided when I came back here, I was out here in 2006 between 1 and 38 days. I was gang stalked back then when I was out here in that calendar year. And I made a decision when I came back not to get involved with anybody at the friendship level, the acquaintance level, or the intimate level. Any way, shape, or form get involved with anybody for any reason so I could prove this uh, harassment was happening to me so I could show the American public that I was stalked to here to San Diego again, which, which in turn brings alive some saved... 2006 emails of me describing what I was putting up with in another state and here. It's my way of proving this criminality and how long it's been going on. So let's see if anything happens at this hiking area where I'm at right now. This is the hiking area where the dead tree is at over there. Okay. Code word for location G I L L O P P woman. You'll understand that when I need to expose it. Trust me. Once once I expose the reason why I just made that coded statement, you'll understand why it was made. Now, th this includes, because what they try to do, they pulled this at UCSD. They slashed my tires when I was inside the biomedical library working on the computers as I was being gang stalked on a feverish scale inside the biomedical library. So I was sending them reports about it online, but they still didn't know who I was by name personally. So what they did was slash my tires in order to provoke me to open up about what was happening to me. Then they used that as an excuse to say they didn't know what gang stalking was. Went online to say they investi uh, to say they investigated it, found my videos online, and then banned me from the library for taking video pictures. And that wasn't the reason. Why. They slashed my tires in order to make it appear they had a legitimate reason to investigate gang stalking, and then used that as a reason to say they found my videos. My videos were titled "Learning to Save a Woman." I never put my name in not one of my descriptions of my YouTube videos. Not one of them. Alright, I gotta go. So we're gonna see if any... The, and I want you to also Google organized stalking or gang stalking property owners. Okay? If I was gang stalked inside of the San Diego Police Department headquarters, if I was gang stalked inside of the city council meeting, if I caught an individual admitting that a San Diego police officer put him on the corner to engage in gang stalking harassment, and I'm gang stalked along all my routes, including at this area, do you honestly think the, uh, the San Diego city government is not involved in this criminality towards me? And do they have the power positions through the city clerk's office and so on and so forth to find out where I'm hiking at in reference to who owns the property? Call them up and tell them a bullshit lie about me? They're the ones who place these idiots to hike out 200 feet from me, and they set them up within a week and a half after I moved here, over almost a year ago. I gotta go. I apologize. I was laying down making this video, but I got a migraine, and <laughs> if you've ever had a migraine, you know what I'm talking about. The only I'm not involved in any 